Welcome. Welcome to First Presbyterian Church Collingwood, First Contact Sunday School Program. My name is Beverly, and I'll be leading you this morning in our gathering time. Our first song that we're going to sing is called Be Still and Know That I Am God. And there are some sign actions that perhaps you might like to, to do as I sing this song. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Are you ready to join me? Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. The Bible. When we read and tell stories from the Bible, we hear God's word. Our song that we're going to sing is called the B-I-B-L-E, and I'm going to play my ukulele, strum along as we sing. Please join me. light from this candle reminds us that Jesus is a light to the world. Our song that we're going to sing is This Little Light of Mine, and I'm sure that you know this song quite well, and if you know the actions for this song, please go ahead and, and do those. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Prayer. Jesus taught his disciples how they should pray. The Lord's Prayer. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our song that we're going to sing next is called It's Me, It's Me, It's Me, O Lord, Standing in the Need of Prayer. It's me, it's me, O Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me.
hope that you enjoy our special story and activities that our leaders have planned for you today. And I'll see you after your class today. So long. Hello friends, my name is Haven and this is my friend Madison. In a moment but not yet, you guys are going to join us in making a fun little snack. But first, I'm going to have Madison read a story from the Bible for us. So let's go. So the story we're going to be looking at today is Jesus Calms the Storm. And you can find it in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 23 to 27. If you have your Bibles in front of you, you're more than welcome to read along with me. Then he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuffed the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. So what you're going to need is a triangle of watermelon. You're going to need a big rectangle of honeydew or cantaloupe. And you're going to need just a teeny little rectangle of pineapple. Make sure you have an adult with you to help you cut the fruit and the assembly. So what you're going to do first is put your toothpick into your piece of melon. Just right there. Then you're going to take your piece of pineapple and put the pineapple through the toothpick. Then once you've done that, you can take your piece of watermelon and make a little flag with it. And then you've got a cute little boat. Look at these cute little boats. They look so nice. Hey, let's go back to the story we learned about earlier. What do you think these boats could represent? I think that these boats represent the disciples and Jesus on the boat. And I think it reminds us that wherever we are, we can trust Jesus to keep us safe. Thanks so much for joining us today. We had so much fun making these boats with you and we hope that you had fun too. So now before we go, let's just say a quick little prayer. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together today to have fun and make a yummy treat. And please continue to remind us that we can always trust in Jesus when we are afraid, sad, happy, or feeling any type of emotion. Please keep everyone safe and healthy this week so we may meet again next week and have even more fun together. Amen. Bye everyone. I hope you enjoy your snacks and I hope you had fun today. Have a great week. Okay. Welcome back. Our closing song this morning is Go Now in Peace. And again, there are some action signs to go with this song. So it goes like this. Go now in peace, go now in peace, may the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you
Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Go now in peace.